Hi and welcome. I am resuming uh, my video making after a brief break now. So I will just start with a bit of review. I'm going back to the Harding and Morelli dialogues that I really like from the book that is out of print, but you can find it on the dialogues page of uh, the companion website that you'll see in the about tab. So we'll just review quickly. I'll get back to my Tibetan keyboard here. So, ta, shi, de, lek, ta, shi, de, lek, which is auspicious goodness or greetings. I'll just make sure that my column here is not quite so big. We don't want the giant letters like that. Oops. Let me get this back to automatic. Greetings. Oops. I have to get used to typing again. <laughs> Just forgive me if I'm a bit slow. Kuzu de bo, whoops, bo yin be. Kuzu de bo yin be. So, body, honorific body. Well, being, and in English, we usually say, how are you? Make this gray. And the answer, the, oops, oh, yin. Whoops, sorry. Che, che. Oops. Or sorry, just well being. Oops. I'm well, thanks. So as you know, my interlinears are a little bit st possibly strange compared to what you would see normally, but it really is so that you can reconstruct the Tibetan easily in your mind. So tash dele kuzu de bo yin be de bo yin tuji che. Next question. Kerang e ha yu ka bar re. Your fatherland, where being, where is your, I guess you could say in English, homeland, or where are you from is probably the more typical question that you would ask. Scroll down a little bit here. Next. 
Nga rang ki pa oops pa yu a me ji ka ji. I will just make a line break there so you can see the word division better. So my fatherland, America being my Homeland is America, or I'm from America is the more normal or typical way to say it. So, Tirangi Payu Kabare, Narangi Payu America. Where are you from? I'm from America. The next question is, Ke rang la? Mm. Oops. Gu. Gu. Ye. Be. I might use spelling that is slightly different from the version there because some of these words are using some simplified spelling, but I prefer to keep things, well, as close to actual spelling as possible. So this normally would be pronounced tu, but most people pronounce it pu, so don't need to worry too much about pugu. Chugu, pugu. Child, children. So, you, whoops, back to English. You at at or with or in possession of, as you know, I often use in possession of, but I think we'll start using the shortcut here. Just think of it as at children. And then we can say having existing. I, I don't mind using existing, but I think it's just simpler for us to think of you as having, you can think of it maybe as having existence, something like this. But as far as once you get, once you get comfortable with you as being sometimes existing and sometimes having, sometimes being in a place, I think at this point, it's going to be better for you to think of it as having in this context. So you at children having, do you, oh, yeah, I'll give it a proper capital, do you have children again i'm just trying to keep things in the simplest way that you can reconstruct the tibetan easily for yourself and communicate clearly and effectively in tibetan kerala pugyu be you Nga la u gu ni ye having I at children to having I do. I have two children. Kiana la pugu be? Ye. Mala pugu ni ye. Do you have children? I do. I have two children. Oops. Kang 
Opa. D. Ups. D. P. Q. O. Tu. House. This. Very. Pleasant. Being, we can say for do. In this case, this house is very nice. Suja, oops, she wrote no T honorific T consume. Please do. I usually translate. Ronang as please do. I just find it an easy way to remember. Ro and Nang. So honorific, please do this. So please have some tea. In English, we say some tea. You can also just say, please have tea. You don't have to remember the sum. If you're learning English this way, sum is optional. Please have some tea. Please have tea. It's okay also. That's one page of some colloquial dialogues. I will continue this very soon. Thank you so much. I hope you find these useful.